do we have here today? A so cucumber. <laughs> no, it's a tomato. What a little beauty. Cool. How do you know when it's the right time to go and search for them? They call for you. Hmm. They say, Reinhold, we're ready, come over. But of course in uh, mushroom language. <laughs> <laughs> what does it sound like? Or does it, is it a spoken language? Or is it um, a sign language? Or rather a with a sort of scent? That's. Uh, <laughs> I think you have to come very close to a mushroom to hear it with the camera. Okay, I'm gonna try that. Talk to me, little mushroom. What? Well, what do you want me to do? Um, what do you want me to say? Well, I was wondering. You know, we we've um, you hear a lot about people eating poisonous mushrooms. And we've even experienced one night in a hospital when you were for some other reason there um, that somebody was uh, intoxicated by mushrooms and it sounded like this person was having a very, very horrible time. So how do you go about figuring out whether what you're harvesting is poisonous or not? Oh, but nobody's going to believe me. Why not? Because I told them a lie on the previous video. Oh. About the grapes you cannot eat. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I said, these grapes are not good. Uh huh. And I made you taste uh, an apple, so. Oh, yes, they're gonna think that. A no. half rotten apple. Yeah, what is also um, important, I think, is what we just realized before I started recording, is that in order to explain properly um, to our viewers, um, and to make a proper disclaimer as well that um, there are very dangerous mushrooms and you shouldn't go about uh, harvesting and especially eating any mushroom because it could be deadly um, that we lack the right vocabulary to um, to describe um, all the different parts of the mushrooms so maybe if there's somebody watching this uh, wanting to give a help that would be very welcome so if you know how to name the different parts of the mushroom, um, well, please leave a comment and uh, and help us to to do this thing right. Thank you. Eaten by snails, baby. Snails. snails. <laughs> Are you cutting off parts? No, I'm just taking away the grass and. Snails. Okay. That one doesn't look too fresh. You still be able to save parts of it for eating? I think so. It's still hard. Okay. Firm, not hard. Firm, right. Okay. Camera rolling. You see the difference? This is, uh, I don't know, Flemish blotches. Uh huh. And this one is uh, Basius. Uh huh. <laughs> you see this thing? That's what where the spores are. Yeah. Okay. These are like all small tubes. Uh -huh. you see? Yep. Well, this one has um, in French lamelle. All right. It goes that way. Okay. So that one is not. That's the very though? first uh, indicator for uh, having. Uh, I don't know in French bolet. I don't know how to say it in English. Okay. Boletus. Yes, that's a family name. Hey, please help us. Yeah, help! <laughs> what a beauty! Ah, look what a beauty! Wow! Did I <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm gonna come closer. Sorry, your face is out of focus now. This is a fish. So here you can see these tubes very, very well. 
Oh yes, yes indeed, yes. Yes, maybe we should. The funny thing is that you, we we not we definitely want to disclaim that we are not at all mushroom uh, experts, and we only harvest what we know 100% sure is not is edible and good. And if we have a doubt, we don't eat it. And the book says that you have to take it to your local um, drugstore, your pharmacist, and he will know. But we tried that, and then there was a couple of very friendly ladies who took a look at the mushroom we brought and said, Yes, probably you, you will be able to eat this, probably. You know, I think probably no, not. Probably is not. <laughs> so that wasn't a very positive experience. So we stick to the mushrooms that we know. Which and we also know the, yes. the ones that look alike but are not. Yes. Because that's very important. Sometimes they have like uh, poisonous and they look on the outside if they are the same but they are not. Yes, so you have to be 100% sure. So yeah, and we're not to, experts. You have to know them both. Mm. The one you want to eat and the one you don't want to eat. Exactly. We are back with a harvest that was much larger than we expected. So we had to improvise and do some makeshift um, carrying bags. So I'm going to unpack all this. So we took our jumpers and transformed them into containers for like I don't know how many mushrooms. I've lost count. Uh, I don't know if I take them up one by one, they would take me ages. So unzip, unzip. Yes, yes. Um, where is the zip? Okay, here's the. Oh, it's on the other side. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. This is a very unconventional way of, of uh, what's it called? Unboxing? <laughs> Unjumpering. Unjumpering mushrooms. Ta da! Uh, look at that. Uh, nature can be very generous. Very good! If you only have a very small amount of mushrooms, you can put them like this on the wood stove.